What's up, guys? Yeah, praise God. Jesus calls us home. He yes, calls he us does. home. He calls us to himself. Yes, he calls does. us out of the darkness into his marvelous light. Amen. Uh, and, he is our righteousness. Uh, he is our hope. He is our salvation. That's right. It is all him. That's right. And we praise him for it. We give all glory, all glory to him. Yeah. We him. So, do. Praise, praise God. Thank Lord. you, Jesus. Yeah, we're so glad you guys could join us tonight. Amen. We, uh, you know, we, we want to just first start out by saying, like, you know, we apologize. Um, we have been super busy. And if we have uh, not uh, been good at responding to emails or uh, responding to you the way that we should, we, we want to sincerely apologize that for that. Um, we have been super busy. Um, I have a business. It's been really slow for a couple of weeks. I had some clients that were on vacation. And um, Scott had injured his arm at work. And so we had to come up with a way to kind of make some extra money. So we've been uh, driving for hire. Uh, and that takes up a lot of our time. And when we're in the car, we obviously uh, can't respond to emails or even make phone calls because yeah. mm -hmm. we're in, in the midst of, of doing that. And so, you know, it's just a season that we're going through. But we want to just, you know, let you know that, you know, we're, we're, we love you guys, and we're we're um, kind of feeling um, uh, overwhelmed a little bit with with what you know trying to make ends meet right now. Really, it's rough <clears> right now. It it's, is. It's a hard season for sure. Yeah, it and been, um, so. you know our rent went up uh, three hundred dollars a month, and we have uh, some additional expenses that have come up, and you know we're just um, uh, doing what we can to. Uh, Make sure that we can pay the bills, keep a roof over our head, um, you know, not lose our car, uh, feed everybody. So, you know, it's an ongoing daily um, thing. And, you know, so I want to just, you know, put it out there that, you know, you know, if you feel like if you've emailed us, we haven't responded back right away or, you know, anything else like that. We're, we're really apologetic for that. You know, we don't do this full time. You know, we still have to work. And you know, during the season, we're we're having to work a lot, um, and we're hoping that that changes uh, in time. You know, we're hoping that in a couple months things will look differently. But you know, in the meantime, we still want to do these Thursday nights hangouts with you. Yeah, that's why. I mean, we always make sure. I mean, we we definitely make sure that yeah. we will be here on uh, the Thursday night. Yeah, uh, at the very least, right. uh, we want to start. Doing more content, right. uh, maybe doing uh, more, more videos, uh, maybe even perhaps you know maybe another uh, live stream during the yeah. week sometime. So again, just as Anna said, it's been really, really hectic right now. And uh, honestly, um, if 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 you would, we definitely would appreciate appreciate any prayers. Amen. And um, Amen. but again, we we want to be here for you guys as well. So we are definitely going to uh, yeah, you know. And, and we're doing the best we can. You know, we're yeah. just we're just people. We have our uh, shortcomings, our faults. We're we're busy. You know, when we're not working, we're just like, like, you know, stretched down the cast with drool coming down our face because we're tired. Yeah, you yeah, know? yeah, yeah, so, yeah. I'm saying. I mean, and just uh, the stress of the world. You know, I mean, it, it it weighs it weighs you down. I mean, you know, you you have to pay the bills. You have to pay the rent. You have to figure out. All right. How are we going to make this happen? Our faith is in God, and He Amen. always, always provides. He always does, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, but He, you know, money doesn't fall out of the sky. That's not how no. He does it, all right? He engineers things, you know, for us to do in order to be provided, right? Right. Yeah. So that's what we're doing. And then, you know, on top of that, you throw in, you know, if kids get sick or you know, so, yeah, you know, stuff just, always stuff comes up. So stuff comes up, yeah. So you know, we're we're really definitely, um, you know, in a season, and and we we just want to ask for your understanding right now, uh, as we kind of work through this. You know, it would be great if if there would be a way that we could do this full time. Uh, and really dedicate a lot more time to this, yeah, at, but at this point we, we really can't. And we're, Rocco, we uh, we can't. Um, you know, we're not going to ever ask you for money or, or or anything like that. We're so we're doing what we can to survive, and we're and we're just um, trying to bless you as we can. So hopefully, you, you know, you can understand yeah. that. Yeah. So tonight we're we're going to talk about you know the difference between uh, man's righteousness and God's righteousness. Now there is something that takes place when we come to Christ, when we receive the Holy Spirit, we're saved and sealed 
unto the day of redemption, and that is the imputed righteousness of Christ. And that means that when Christ looks at us, he no longer sees our sins, but he instead sees the righteousness of Christ in us. Praise God. Um, and, but I also believe, my personally, and you can correct me if I'm wrong, Scott, but I believe that when God gives us his righteousness, that his righteousness shows through us. And, you know, it's, so it's not just something like we passively receive. We don't just passively receive his righteousness. Uh, but we, when we receive his righteousness, then uh, there's some fruit that comes forth from it um, because we love God. Amen. And, um, you know, this isn't something that comes from our flesh. It's not something that we manufacture within ourselves. In yes, we it's walk in the spirit. In the spirit. And That's what we have to do. Absolutely. And when we do that, um, some amazing stuff starts happening. And, um, you know, God can use us in amazing ways. And, you know, I know personally that you know, I'm sure it is with, with all of you listening that, that there's been circumstances where God has used you um, and you didn't expect it. But but you were put into a situation where God is like, I have work for you to do when you do it. Right. And, you know, you don't boast about it. You just do it because you love the Lord and you want to shine his light to other people. And um, you do it because you love other people. Excuse you know? me. Yes. You love others. Absolutely. I mean, that's what it comes down to. Yes. Loving others. So. Amen. And we, you know. we really, uh, you know, um, you know, for me, love is a funny thing. Uh, you know, I have to be honest with you where I went through many years where, you know, I, I, I don't like people that much. You know, it, it's but it's funny because it was while you know, there's that part of me that God is working on quite a bit, you know, uh, there's still a love there. And, um, you know, if somebody uh, were to ask me of something, I would try to give it to them. You know, uh, if someone, um, you know, asked for forgiveness, I would, I would be able to give that to them right away. So it's funny because while my initial feelings sometimes don't change my reaction, changes my reaction changes because i believe very strongly that love is an action not just a feeling it can That's be both exactly what it, is. it can be both you can feel love but um but i think really ultimately love is an action and it's something that we, you know we do um in order to show um you know christ within us and uh it's something again that that we don't have to try to do within our own selves but it's something that comes from the spirit of, of jesus within mm -hmm. us when he gives it to us it always comes down to a choice. Amen. Always. Mm -hmm. It always comes down to a choice. It, and we can't rely upon feeling the emotion of love in order to show love and be loving. Right. And and, and that's, you know, that's a difficult thing. I mean, it comes down to a choice. It, and so, sorry. Lot, sorry about that. So, I mean, <laughs> you know, emotions are a fleshy thing. It, uh, you know, emotions, mm -hmm. okay? We need to separate from our emotions and do what's right. I mean, the scripture says clearly, right? If if a man knows to do good and do right, but he doesn't do it, then it's sin to him, Amen. all right? Because you see, you may know, all right, the right thing to do, the good thing to do for somebody, but if you're relying upon your emotion in mm -hmm. order to, for that to propel you to do it, mm -hmm. but the emotion isn't there, well, then you're not going to do it, all right? This is why... God makes it very clear in his word, all right, that this is love. This is what love does, all right? Do it. Mm -hmm. We are given the ability to consciously, willfully decide to do these things, Amen. you know? Amen. So so we kind of have a cool presentation for you tonight. I've been yeah, working on this, yeah. you know, and hopefully you appreciate it. I don't know. <laughs> Sometimes I think I, I work on the stuff and, and um, yeah, maybe I think great. it's uh, a little bit better than... <laughs> Than it really is. But anyway, um, so tonight we're going to talk about man's righteousness. And we're going to go ahead and start in with this um, description. Because I was trying to think, like, how can I illustrate the difference between a man's pride and, uh, and righteousness and God's righteousness? Right. And so, you know, with man's pride, it, it has these building blocks. And, and they're they're not fruitful. They're not godly. And some of those things can be a lack of self-examination. You know, it can be unwilling to listen. It can be a critical of other people. 
Uh, it can come from making excuses for yourself and shifting the blame onto other people instead of, you know, really self-examining yourself and see maybe where you have some uh, uh, fault in a situation. Right. It can uh, come from defensiveness. Like you're uh, so sure that you're always right that uh, you're not willing to listen. And you get offended easily. And you get offended easily. It, and, it, and that can kind of culminate into lying. You know, um, you, you want know, to prop yourself up. You want to prop yourself up, and you don't. You want to cover any wrongdoing that you've done, and instead of admitting it and confessing it and repenting of it, you lie to cover it. Exactly. Uh, and it craves attention. Man's pride craves attention. Yes, you know, you want the glory to come on to you, and not be put onto God. Right. And it can also lead you to be very angry and very vengeful. You know, when you feel as though you've been wronged, and sometimes you've been wronged justifiably, but because of your pride, and I have this guy, I like to call a pride platform. You stand on your pride platform, yeah. and um, uh, if anyone tries to knock you off, you get very angry and you get very vengeful. Um, however, in, uh, you know, uh, contrast to that is God's righteousness and God's righteousness comes from what Jesus Christ accomplished on the cross and when we are born again and we receive the Holy Spirit we were that he takes away our heart of stone and he gives us a heart of flesh Amen. you know and he um, uh, takes away uh, he gives us a new spirit you know and so we, when we receive that then we have God's righteousness and God's righteousness comes from the heart Amen. comes from the heart Amen. and and what that looks like is is we have obedience. We're obedient to God's word, you know, because we understand the magnitude of what we received, and 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 because we love Him, we want to please Him. Uh, we also have love, you know. We love one another. We love God, you know, with a genuine love. And again, that's an action, not necessarily a feeling. Exactly. We have um, joy. And, you know, even when we're having a difficult season or things seem hard, we still have the joy in the Lord because we know that He is good, he is and we good. know that we Amen. He loves us, Amen. and we know that we are sealed and saved, and we know where we're going. When all of this is over, we know exactly. And no where matter we're going. how bad things get here, we still know that we're saved. Amen. You know what I mean? So you, you 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 really can't be too depressed with your circumstances, right? Right. You know what I mean? Right. So praise God, praise God. Uh, we have kindness. We show kindness to one another, uh, and um, we, you know, are uh, we're not hateful and angry and vengeful and slandering. Spiteful. We're we're, we're just kind, uh, even if someone's been unkind to us. And we also have um, faith. Amen. You know, faith. God's righteousness <laughs> gives us an increase of faith because you know we've received it and we understand mentally and in the heart you know, the magnitude of his uh, sacrifice for us and receiving God's righteousness is something we can never ob obtain. And so we become more and more faithful in our walk with him because we understand, you know, uh, how much, you know, really uh, that we owe him. We owe, at the very minimum, you guys, we owe Jesus our hearts. Amen. You know, we owe him our love. We owe that to him. He wants and, our heart. And, and he's not keeping a record book and making an account but um, but he sees uh, how we respond to being given uh, his righteousness. Exactly. And we receive hope. Uh, yes, we, we, we know that even though when times look bad, that we can always look forward to something better because we know that God works out everything for the good of those who love him. And we also know where we're going. And no matter what happens, even if we die tomorrow, we know we're going to be with him Amen. and that gives us great hope Amen. we also receive humility you know we understand that there's nothing good about us that that our own flesh doesn't produce anything that pleases god at all uh and therefore we humble ourselves before him because we understand that um you know god gives grace to the humble but resists the proud right. you know and uh we we are humble before him because you know I'm never going to go in front of the Lord with a long list of things that I think would impress him because I know that that We're not wouldn't <laughs> impress him with anything. Never. Our works are as filthy rags apart from God's righteousness. Exactly, but that's the thing. You see, that's the thing. 
all right? Our works are as filthy rags, all right? But the works that come through, that come through the fruit of the spirit, those works count. They're yeah. not filthy rags, right? okay? Yeah. They're not. It gives us patience. It gives us patience mm -hmm. with one another. It gives us patience with God. It gives, gives us, us patience in tribulation. In tribulation. Mm -hmm. Amen. Trials. Because we yeah. know and trust through faith that God will bring us out of it and that he will work things out to our benefit. And we only have to be patient and trust Amen. in faith. Amen. It gives us peace. It gives us peace. You know, because it doesn't matter what other people think or say or do. What matters is how God sees you and what God thinks about you. And, and that brings great peace because you know that if you're uh, attempting to be in right standing with him, um, then he's pleased with you. And that gives great peace. Amen. And we now have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. That's right. All right. That's right. Again, it is it is what Jesus did, which is what brings forth the peace between us and God. Amen. It's all Jesus. All right. It's not of ourselves. It's nothing it's that not we do. Ourselves. It absolutely is not. And we're thankful. Amen. We're thankful. Amen. Uh, you know, if, if you uh, are in a situation where you can't be thankful for uh, some things that God's given you, because I think in everybody's life, you know, there's a lot of things that you you could find fault with. But I think God calls us to fight to be thankful with what is good that he has given us. And we need to look at those things. And when we look at those things, it brings great hope and great joy Amen. and great faith. Amen. And we just we, and you just can't help but be thankful. And the enemy is always trying to work work us over to get us to be unthankful. Right. Right. And to you know, to, to focus on the things that either we don't have, the things that we desire, you know. You know, we just need to be able to sit back and be like, what, you know, you're in control. Yeah. You're in complete control. Yes. You see, that's when you give yourself to Christ, you are literally giving him complete control over your life mm -hmm. in the sense of whatever happens, wherever I end up, it's in your hands. Amen. I completely trust you. Yes. Do what thou will yeah. with my life. Right. All right. And right. you trust in that. And this is where all these things come. Right. This is where all the fruit of the spirit come from. Amen. All right. Amen. Because you are submitting to him. Right. Okay. And when we have God's righteousness, and what happens is that people can see Christ in us. Amen. He, they can see Christ in us. They can that's see, right. you know, and, and that's the evidence of things and seeing this is faith is a substance of things hoped for and the evidence and yes. of things unseen. There's evidence of having Christ in your life. But you can't see that, and that's but you why can it, see the evidence of it exactly. And it is all spiritual and the carnal mind. People who are unbelievers and carnal, they can't understand it, right? Because the carnal mind cannot understand things of God, cannot understand spiritual things, but they notice it. They notice it. They notice it. They kind of see it as kind of a light shining. Mm -hmm. Okay even though they can't really comprehend it because they're in darkness, but they notice it, Amen. all right? I mean, just look at even a moth, all right? Even a moth is drawn to light, Amen. okay? You think that a man isn't going to be drawn to light? Amen. Of course, a man's going to be drawn to light. How much greater than a moth is man? Amen. <laughs> Amen. Yeah. And this, like, this is really the crux of it here, Amen. you know? This is why the fruit of the Spirit is so important. This is why we are still here. Right. All right, and when you think about it, why are we even still here on this earth, living this life in this world? For one reason, to bear good fruit. Amen. We're not here for any other reason. Amen. That is why we're here. Amen. Right? Otherwise, we would just be with the Lord right now. Amen. Amen. Okay. Amen. And, um, you know, man's righteousness ultimately brings pride in yourself. Right. And the Bible has a lot to say about pride. And we're going to share yeah, with you some does. scriptures that talk about pride. Excuse me, before we do that, uh, we wanted to share with you Romans 3, 21 through 22. But now a righteousness from God, apart from the law, has been made known to which the law and the prophets testify. This righteousness from God comes through faith in Jesus Christ to all who believe. Amen. A lot of people say there is no imputed righteousness. That's this a lot. right here is a verse that explains the imputed Absolutely. righteousness 
of Christ. That is the righteousness we of receive God the righteousness of God through faith in Jesus Christ. And, amen. And that righteousness of God, which comes through faith in Jesus Christ, all who believe, comes upon all those who believe. Why? Because Jesus Christ is God. Amen. Himself. Amen. Okay. So what does the Bible say about pride? We're going to share, I think, about 10 ver verses with you. Well, it's very important, all right, because pride, I, you know, on, on a quick side note here, mm -hmm. I believe all other sin is stemmed in pride. There is one too. sin, which is the chief of all sin. It is pride. Well, it's the original sin. Well, the Bible says it's it, the it original sin. It makes perfect sin. sense, all yeah. right, because pride, which is what? Love for oneself. Right. Okay. That is, uh, you know, basically making yourself out to be your own God. Amen. So. Amen. So Proverbs 11, 2 says, when pride comes, then comes disgrace. But with the humble is wisdom. Amen. So you may have a lot of self-pride in this life, but when you stand before a holy God, it'll be nothing but disgrace. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yeah, disgrace. Proverbs 16, 18, pride goes before destruction and a haughty spirit before a fall. Amen. 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 The fear of the Lord is hatred of evil, pride and arrogance, and the way of evil and perverted speech I hate. Amen. God hates this. Yep. He hates pride and arrogance. This isn't something to he just take lightly. He hates perverted speech. He can't. He hates it. It How says do it you very speak? clearly. How <laughs> do you speak? You know, are you arrogant and hateful and prideful? If you are those things in your speech, God hates that. Right. And it doesn't matter if you think you're saved or not. He still hates it. Yeah, he doesn't stop hating it just because we're saved. Amen. He still hates it. Amen. Okay. And if you love your if you love your heavenly father, all right, that will mean something to you if you know that he hates it. Right. Okay. That's one of the ways to examine yourself, all right, because you know. Right. <laughs> Do you want to be doing yeah. things that God hates? I, mean, I know that I don't. You know? Or are you gonna just be a uh, a uh, grace uh Pharisee and be like, Well, no, you know, it says that I'm saved and that's all I care about and and that's it, you know. That's that's not a right spirit. All right. Okay. Uh, any way you look at it, you you could try to you know be as legalistic as you want when it comes to this. All right. And be like, well, it says it, and that's it. And you know, I can't say one way or another. All right. Because it is what the word says. But you still need to look at the spirit that you have. Amen. All right. Because guess what? The Holy Spirit isn't gonna isn't gonna think the way you're thinking. Well, the Holy, Spirit doesn't, the, Holy Spirit, so. the Holy Spirit doesn't lead you into hatred. The Holy Spirit doesn't lead you into pride, mm -hmm. and the Holy Spirit doesn't lead you into arrogance. Exactly. And that doesn't mean that you made. That doesn't necessarily mean you don't have the Holy Spirit, but it definitely means that you've quenched Him, and that's not Him speaking to you. If that's Amen. how you feel. Amen. So, James four six, God opposes the proud, but gives grace to the humble. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Proverbs 16, 5, everyone who is arrogant in heart is an abomination to the Lord. Be assured, he will not go unpunished. That's right. Amen. Galatians 6, 3, for if anyone thinks he is something when he is nothing, he deceives himself. Right. And we're all literally nothing. We are nothing. You know, in light of Jesus Christ, we are all nothing. There's no one, no Jew nor Greek, no bond nor free, nor male nor female. We are all one in Christ Jesus. Amen. So there's no one that's higher than or better than anyone else. No. Nope. Right? No. Nope. Psalm 101.5. Whoever slanders his neighbor secretly, I will destroy. Those are strong words. We've got to be careful words. about the things that come out of our mouth. That's right. Whoever has a haughty look and an arrogant heart, I will not endure. Amen. We have to remember God will not be mocked. No. All right? You cannot look at these verses. You cannot look at this and be like, oh, well, you know, but we're, we're just, we're under grace now. Right. All right? All right? You still may be saved, but mm -hmm. we are going to have to pay. We, we, we're going to have to give an answer. We're going to have to give this. an account. We're going to have to give an account, and we will suffer loss. All right? Amen. Amen. 
Psalm 59, 12, for the sin of their mouths, the words of their lips, let them be trapped in their pride for the cursing and lies that they utter. Again, this is the importance of what comes out of our mouth. Right. Because the Lord says, whatever we, whatever comes out of our mouth is flowing directly from our Amen. heart. Amen. And if what you're speaking out of your mouth, all right, is aligns more with a heart of stone, then there is really no reason for you to believe that you now have a that you now have a heart of flesh. Right. If the spirit that is in you is speaking this vile stuff then there really is no reason for you to believe that you now have a right spirit within you. Right. Because God does not contradict himself. No, he doesn't. Okay. So. Amen. Proverbs 21, 4. Haughty eyes and a proud heart, the lamp of the wicked, are sin. That's right. It's sin. Pride is a sin. Wickedness is sin. That hasn't changed since Jesus died. Jesus paid it for it. But... You know, if you're unrepentant in your pride and you're unrepentant in your wickedness and you don't change your mind about it and think, gee, you know, maybe I really shouldn't be wicked. Maybe I really shouldn't be proud. If you don't have a change of mind about that sin within you, then I think that you're going to have to have a difficult discussion with Jesus Christ on the day of judgment. Yeah. Well, I mean, look, I don't know any I don't know any true born again believer. All right who hasn't come to that conclusion, mm -hmm. all right? Um, so Proverbs 21, 24, scoffer is the name of the arrogant, 40 man who acts with arrogant pride. Amen. And right. scoffer is a big thing. Like the Lord doesn't like scoffers. No, like, don't. do you make fun? Do you jest? Do you- uh, Are you a joker? Are you a joker? Mm -hmm. You know, do you do these things in arrogance thinking that you're right and everyone else is wrong and therefore you can mock and scoff them you think you could just make fun of people and God the lord is like smiling that. you honestly think the lord's smiling upon you and no. and pleased with your behavior when you're poking fun making fun right all right making fun is not a godly attribute and god is not okay with ungodliness right all right i mean i don't understand why this is so hard for us to wrap our heads around right god is not okay with ungodliness Let's get that through our heads. Right. Let's understand that and repent and change our mind because we, those of us who think God's okay with it, he's not okay with it. That's right. what we're talking about when we say repent because repentance is a change of mind. But there's many people out here who think they've repented, but they're not repenting of these kinds of things. Well, a lot we of people will say do. repentance is only changing your mind about who Jesus is, but it's no, not it's that. It's about changing who you are, too. It's about who you are, All right? too. It's Absolutely. repenting about what you Praise think about God. sin and what you think sin is. Right. All right? Change your, your mind. your own behavior. Change Amen. your mind about it. Amen. You know? That's what, that, that's what it's about, And God guys. feels very strongly about this because there are over 100 Bible verses about pride. I mean, exactly. God's does not word change. doesn't change. A hundred Bible verses about pride. You know, if if you're struggling with pride, this is absolutely something that you might want to look into. Yeah. Again, just go to Bible Gateway, type in pride. Yeah. And uh, see how many Bible verses. There are over literally yeah, over one hundred verses God about hates it. Pride. He does. And look, we all can struggle with pride in many different different ways and different times Amen. and different areas. We can. All right. But this is why we are constantly going to him, this is why we boldly go to that throne of grace, Amen. as we're told in the scripture to Amen. do, Amen. to find time, to find help in time of need, where it's like, man, you know, Lord, I need your help. I need help here. Amen. All right. And I'm not doing this so you will save me. I'm doing it because you have saved me Amen. and I love you Amen. and I want to be like you. Amen. All right. Amen. Amen. Because you're my father. Praise God. You're my father, and I love you. Praise God. All right? And, you know, so I, we were going to talk about the fruit of the spirit a little bit because there seems like there's a lot of confusion. Yeah, uh, fruitful know, confusion. Fruition. 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 Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, fruit of the spirit, you know, and this comes when you have the Holy Spirit. Now, a lot of people are confused about what 
the fruit of the Spirit is, but it clearly tells us in Scripture in Galatians 5, exactly. 22 through 23 Believe what the Word says, what not the fruit of what, the Spirit is. Yeah, not what a certain denomination says or anything. Or the your fruit favorite we YouTube are to teacher bear says. It's very clear in the Scripture. Right, and this isn't something that can be measured. This isn't something that is manufactured through the flesh. This nope. is something that comes <laughs> through the Holy Spirit. Have no confidence in the flesh. The flesh profiteth nothing. Right. Okay. And this nothing. is all stuff that comes when you receive the Holy Spirit. And it, just and it grows. From you. It does flow from you, yeah. but it, but it can take time to grow. You know, but if you're not seeing any evidence well, of fruit of the Spirit yeah. at all, you know, there there's a problem because the Holy Spirit, mm -hmm. it's a promise that we will receive the Holy Spirit and we receive the Holy Spirit. There is evidence of it through the fruit Amen. of the Spirit. Amen. Now, Let's some of these up there. Uh, fruit one. are love. Yeah. Do you love God? Do you love other people? How do you uh, how do you honor God in the things that you do and the way that you think and the way that words you that pray you speak. and the words that you <laughs> speak and how do you love mm -hmm. your neighbor? Mm -hmm. How do you doing that? Like think about these things. Like Amen. examine yourselves. Amen. You know. Amen. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, let's do that again. <laughs> uh, joy as a fruit of the spirit. Like, do you have joy now? I know there's a lot of people going through hardship. Uh, and there's a lot of people that, you know, we, we have a tendency to get bogged down in life. I mean, life, because the world belongs to the evil one, right. you know, it, it, it has a way of just stealing our joy. I mean, it really does. But do constantly you trying to. believe, do you have faith in who Jesus is? Do you believe that he loves you? Do you believe that he will turn every bad circumstance into something good for you? Do you believe it? Right. When you believe right. that, when you know that you're saved, when you know you're going to see his face one day, <laughs> Hallelujah. you have joy. Amen, you do. Now, it might, not, might not be like you're dancing a jig every single day, all day. No, you're going to have you're gonna have moments, all right? You're going to have moments, but rooted it's right. rooted within you basically meaning when all right when somebody in the world all right is 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 brought down so low mm -hmm. okay and they have no hope all right this is when people commit suicide right, right? but when you have the lord all right it doesn't mean that you may never be down. It may not even mean that you may never be depressed. Right. But ultimately, you you know that God is good, even while the devil is constantly trying to tell you, is he really? Right. Is he really? Right. If he was really good, would this have happened? Right. Would that have happened? Yeah. And that is when we are in the midst of a spiritual battle, my Amen. friends. Amen. Okay? That is when we would say, we, got, we need to say to the devil, yes! He is good, Amen. Satan, and I believe him. All right? right. I believe. Right. Amen. Amen. Forbearance. Forbearance. Bearing, bearing with one another. Yeah. Forgiveness. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Uh, you know, when uh, people insult you or are rude, do you, how do you respond to that? How do you bear with one another? How do you show that love and joy that you have from the Lord? Uh, peace. You're given peace. Again, you know, you're like, um, you know, everything looks really difficult right now. Everything looks dark. And I, and, and but you know what? I, I am going to go to bed tonight. I'm going to lay down. I'm going to close my eyes and I'm going to have peace because I know that God Amen. is good and I know he loves me. Amen. You know, Amen, baby. and Amen. Uh, goodness, like, are you good or are you wicked? Yeah. You know, if you're uh, wicked, if you know to do good, do you do good, or do you say I'm not going to bother with that? Right. Okay. Right. If your action is, and just I would as like to say as, that you know. if if you're wicked, then you're not showing love, you're not showing joy, you're not showing peace, and you're not bearing with anybody because you're just wicked. And so, if you're wicked, then you don't have any of these fruits. You don't have any of them. A good tree cannot bear bad fruit. Bad fruit. And a bad tree cannot bear good fruit. Amen. Amen. And this is the tree that we are talking about. Amen. Okay. Are you faithful? You know, are, are you, you faithful, faithful to your spouse? Are you faithful to your children? Are you faithful to God? Yeah. You know, are you faithful Meanwhile, to your if, friends? It, 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 you could say you're faithful to God, but if you're not faithful to your spouse, if you're not right. faithful to your friends, you're not faithful to God. Amen. Okay? Don't matter. Amen. All right? Don't matter. Kindness. Kindness. Are you kind? Or are you harsh? 
If you have a disagreement, do you try to talk to the person or do you just cut them down and slander them? You know, if you're doing that, uh, you know, you kind of fall into that wickedness category and there may not be the Holy Spirit within you. Exactly. Sorry, but there is evidence of the Holy Spirit. There is evidence People don't of the like Holy to hear Spirit. That. People hate to hear that, yeah. but it is the truth. truth. Because if you have the Holy Spirit, you're going to bear. Look, you may not be bearing all of this fruit, all but once. you could be like, well, you, 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 that I have this and I have that, but you Amen. know what? Wow, you know, uh, kindness. Sometimes I'm just not very kind. I yeah. get into the flesh. All right? But you know that. That you're bearing some of it and you know what where you're lacking that is where you get into prayer and you're like what i need this fruit i want to bear this fruit again what i know i'm not bearing this fruit it. help me you're repenting you change your mind you're repenting right okay yeah gentleness Amen. are you harsh or are you gentle right. you know if, if you're harsh again there there's something in you that's that's contradictory to the spirit of god and again you know we're not saying that every single day you're bearing all this fruit because i know that i'm not i know Neither some days i, I struggle with I. joy some days i struggle with peace uh some days i struggle with um even faithfulness you know and, and it's easy to do but we need to look at the overall picture you know we all have days but but in general you know how are we doing with this how are we doing with it yeah. you know well, you should at least be able to look at this and every day be bearing one right. of these. And at least you want to say, Lord, if I'm deficient in this area, God help me. Yeah. You know, God help me with this. God help me with this. Amen. Uh, Self-control. Amen. You know, do you have control over your tongue? Do you have a control of your actions? Your temper. And your temper. You know, do you have control over that? You know, and I know that that's something that, I struggle with, and it can be in what you eat. It can be in uh, the things that you say. It can be in your spending habits. Uh, Self-control can be like in a whole bunch of different areas. Absolutely. And in every single one of those things, you know, again, no one has perfected this side of heaven. But we ought uh, to one want day we're going, to do that. Each and every last one of us, Amen. one day when we see him, all of this fruit is going to be bad within Amen. us simultaneously all at once. Amen. And that's all we're going Amen. to be Amen. for eternity. Amen, baby. All right? For eternity. Because this tree right here, whether you understand it or not, this tree represents that cross. Right. And this tree is the cross which we are to bear. Curses everyone to who's bear on a tree. our own cross. That's right. To bear the fruit. All right, because Jesus bared all of this fruit on that tree, on That's that right. cross. That's right. Okay, and He's given that to us through right. His That's imputed right. righteousness. Right. He's given us the ability, to even possess this, because part Amen. of that because it's we outside couldn't. of us. It's not us doing it. It's, it's him. him, but it's, it's the him, Holy Spirit. not just through some intellectual, you know, uh, acknowledgement. Acknowledgement. It is through submission to Him, because He is our Lord. Amen. All right. And he has saved us and we love him. And because of that love that he had for us, we love in turn. And that is why love is the first fruit. Of spirit. Amen. And all these other fruits are bared out of love. Amen. Okay. Amen, baby. Exactly. <clears throat> exactly. I'm sorry. So that's what we're going to show. Um, yeah. Hopefully you understood what we're saying. Yeah. Um, we're going to um, just let you know if you need a Bible. Uh, amen. Uh, it'd amen. be a pleasure to send one to you. <laughs> We've been getting a lot of requests from like uh, Africa, and it seems like it's kind of a scam. <laughs> yeah. Just so you know, yeah. we can't I mean, we send our, Bibles oh. uh, overseas. We can send them within the United States. Um, so uh, if there's someone who is legitimately seeking a Bible in Kenya or another country, Unfortunately, we're not going to be able to send a Bible to you. However, if you are in the United States, we'd be more than happy to send a Bible to you. Uh, and we want to apologize for that. And oops, somehow and, and I... Whenever, if and when we're ever able to send Bibles overseas, overseas we absolutely will. Yeah. You know, because, uh, you know, brothers and sisters are brothers and sisters, whether they're, you know... 
uh, within the United States or <coughs> literally me. across the entire world. Yeah. You know? But we just want you guys to understand <coughs> that there, there, there's, there's been a lot of confusion, we believe. All right. A lot of people may not understand uh, maybe uh, our stance on certain things. Uh, yeah. I mean, I'd say, uh, we believe that we made it very clear we are all about eternal security. All right. But we're living in a day and age now more than ever that there is just rampant deception and apostasy. All right. And it is so clear. But there are many amongst us, especially when you're talking about social media, okay? When you're dealing with social media, especially, you are dealing with a lot of wolves <coughs> out there, yeah. okay? And the devil will use anything at his disposal to make, to, to, to cause confusion, doubt, strife, all of these things, okay? I, I really don't believe that the devil has any problem with being okay with certain things in right. the Bible, right. right? You know, in order to bring all of this confusion right. upon us. Well, that's what to, it's to, to, to do. Drive us apart. Especially within believers, the people that are already quote unquote believing, I think that the devil goes out and he spreads confusion. That's right. You know, in the outside world, he operates differently. Think Spot said suicide now, the 10th leading cause of death this year. And it's a big deal I because mean, people the devil have no is hope. killing people all the time. And we know that's the truth because he comes to what? Kill, kill steal, steal, and, and destroy. destroy. Okay, and I mean, look, there, there, there were even Christians out there, you know, I remember uh, a few years back, there was this guy that I was friends with on Facebook, and this man committed suicide, oh. all right, because this man, uh, he was going through a horrible divorce, and then there were allegations and accusations made against him that he was sexually molesting his his young daughter and all this stuff and and he he killed himself oh, all right that's really bad. and i mean look these we have to understand that the enemy that we have the lord is is above all greater than all okay mm -hmm. but the enemy that we have is not he's not a chump no he's not a chump no he's all smart. right he is way smarter than you and i and Anna, all right he is all right, we need to understand that we're dealing with an enemy here that convinced a third of the angels in heaven mm -hmm. to rebel against God Almighty. Okay, we're dealing with a formidable force here. He is absolutely, all right, nowhere near equal to the Lord. Okay, but we have an enemy that knows our weaknesses, knows how to play us, knows the evil which is in our hearts, those hearts of stone. Those carnal, carnal hearts, all right, that we still can slip into, all yeah. right? And it is all about genuine, true faith right. upon the gospel, upon the Lord Jesus Christ, all right? And once that happens, we are given the Holy Spirit, and we are now in a, uh, you know, we are now born of the Spirit, and we don't no longer, we're no longer slaves to our flesh like we right. once were, right. okay? Yeah. We're not. Believe and, that. And glorify Jesus said, uh, also side effects of some drugs are suicidal thoughts. And, you know, that's interesting because, you know, after my mom passed away yeah. and, I, you know, I was going through a period of time where I was having a lot of problems. I had had a stroke. I had a miscarriage. My mom died. Uh, somebody broke into my car, broke my windows out of my car. I was broke. You know, it was just a rough time. And I was on um, antidepressants. And, um, you know, what would, they would do is they'd say, well, here's three months supply, but you have to come back in three months to get another prescription. Uh, well, I didn't have insurance. Yeah. So every three months, they wanted me to cough up like an extra 150 bucks yeah. or so. And you would have to, to stop to the it doctor. Abruptly, and I would have right? to stop it abruptly. Which they, they even say, don't right. do that. But they don't hesitate okay. to to stop it abruptly so that you'll go in and pay the $150 to see your doctor. It's so they can this just, wicked world which is. is run by the devil. Right. Okay, I too, I too. I mean, yeah. I have no doubt. I was on numerous, I mean, I was on antidepressants, anti-anxiety. I was, because uh, I had horrible insomnia. I was on uh, Ambien, which if there's anybody out there taking Ambien, stop taking that drug. That drug is unbelievably wicked, all right? You'll do things on that drug and not even know it. I'm not even kidding. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
So, yeah, we live in this wicked world, all right? We live in this wicked world that the enemy, the devil, has control. Yeah. Right now, this is his world. But I just it's not his earth, but that, it's his that world. That when I came back to okay? Jesus, when I came back to Jesus, that all went away. Like, I didn't have a need for Me those too. antidepressants I stop, I anymore. Stopped, I stopped it. I stopped the, the medication after that peace of the Lord came upon me, and uh, I didn't have any complications because of it, no problems, and I'm never going to go back on it. Mm -hmm. All right. Jesus is everything. Amen. He is our He is our salvation. He is our our peace. He is our hope. He is you know He He delivers us from all of these things. Right, mm -hmm. and we have to trust in Him. Truly, truly trust in Him, one hundred percent. Not just for our salvation, but for every single area of our lives. Mm -hmm. Okay, because He's Lord of all. I mean, nothing happens. A sparrow doesn't fall out of the air without Him. Amen. Knowing. Amen. Amen. Okay. I mean, think of that for a moment. Think of it. This is where the peace of the Lord comes upon Amen. you. This peace that surpasses all understanding, because you're like. Number one, you have to believe in him. Number two, you have to believe that he's good. And when you believe in him and you believe that he is good, this is why you were able to have that peace. Amen. All right? Because you know he is real, he is good, he is in control. I don't have to worry. I don't have to worry like I used to worry. And I don't have to fight in my flesh to, to you know, um, win these battles that yeah and the worrying win. thing is the thing that i had to overcome a lot of because i was a worrier and you know the, the thing the interesting thing is is god put a lot of things in my path for me yeah. to worry about and i would worry about them and then he would show me that he's got it covered right. i would worry and, show, and, and after he did that over and over and over again showing me that. that he's got it covered now i mean it's not as bad as it used to be like i still in the back of my head i kind of worry but i'm like you know what i I have faith. I have faith, and God is good. Amen. God and, is good. Um, you know, um, I still worry. I, yeah. you know, I still worry. At we times, all do. You know? I, I mean, mean it's part of the human you. condition. And, yeah, you know, but but the thing that keeps me from being absolutely insane with worry is I trust the Lord. Yeah. You know? and, I, and, I, and, and you I know, have to. Yeah. yeah. You know, and, so, and that's what I have to do every day. Is I'm like, yeah. Lord, you know, this is all in your hands. Like, yeah. I have no control over this. No control. Yeah. Think spot. I know what you mean, man. Benzos. I was on that really bad, bro. Yep. I was on benzos as well. You know? I mean, this is and look, all right. I mean, there are that there may be some benefits to certain certain things, you know, depending upon whatever the condition is. All right? right. Problem is when we're relying upon something that's just dealing with our flesh, all right, it's only gonna go so far. It's only gonna go so far. All right. And uh, I think we all, uh, me and Anna, definitely have both experienced it personally. Mm -hmm. All right, that uh, I was more messed up when I was on, on all this medication. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, I me was too. messed up, me too. man. I was really messed up. I couldn't like, I, I can't even tell you where my mind was, you know. But um, Jesus is our healer. All right, He's our healer. He is our Lord. He is our Savior. He is our salvation. He is our hope. He is, I mean, our he is our righteousness. He is all of this. Okay, and we want to make it extremely clear to everybody that we are one hundred percent about the imputed righteousness of Christ upon us, that righteousness of God, which is imputed upon us. But when you have that righteousness of God imputed upon you, it leaks out. That's right. it, 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 manifests itself within the person all right manifest you know you may if you're not there yet all right if you're not there yet you will be yeah all right you and look be. again you know i'll say that you know it took me seven years to really grow and to start exhibiting fruit i mean you know so everybody's walk is different exactly. you know and there's people that are uh bad and there's people that are broken you know, and the, and the broken people, God can fix, you know. And so we need to be careful about how we judge one another because sometimes people are just broken in the name of the Lord. But sometimes they're just bad. Sometimes they're just bad. And uh, we need to use that discernment the Lord gives us Amen. to determine that, you know. Amen. But we still have to love all of them. 
you know? We love all of them. We love all of them. You know, you see that the thing is, is we're living now in a time, especially where uh, the enemy has crept in on awareness mm -hmm. all throughout every denomination. And um, social media has just exasperated this to a to the umph degree, mm -hmm. to the tenth degree. Um, and what we have to understand is that it's like, look, we have the spirit of the living God living within us. We have the spirit of Christ yeah. living within yeah. us, which reveals yeah. all truth to us. Okay, we're not psychics. We're 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 more than psychics yeah. because we have the Creator of all things living yeah. within us. Okay, we have our very own Creator living within us, and when there are certain things that you just know, all right born again regenerate believer does not do amen they do not do it amen. so when you're dealing with somebody who's claiming to be a regenerate believer yet they do these things at discernment that red flag pops up and you know you're not guessing you know because the holy spirit reveals all truth to us right you know that's a lie this person is not what they're claiming to be right all right, end the story. Right, and you know, I mean, we've all had to struggle with that. I struggle with my flesh too. What? With, I'm not uh, talking about a struggle. We're talking about, right? You know, yeah, uh, lifestyle. Yeah. Of wickedness. Yeah, yeah. yeah we're we're you're, we're there's no born again believers that have a lifestyle of wickedness, and so they can try to convince you all day long that that they are, but, but so, uh, murder, by still be a murderer. their not, words, not they will them. be condemned. Uh, and everything that you say, the Lord is recording. Uh, and we're going to have to give an answer to all of it. So right. we need to be careful about what comes out of our mouth. Amen. So, Amen, we do. Amen, we do. It's very, very, very important for us to understand this, that, you know, we we don't want to be looking at one another and accusing one another unjustly, all right? Don't want that, all right? We all have sin on us. We all deal with it. We're not perfected yet, but we will be, mm -hmm. all right? But there are just certain things that should be common amongst all of us from greatest to least, Amen. all right? And that what to be the fruit of the Spirit. And there are people out there with just their words, you know there's no fruit of the spirit Amen. in this human being. Right. Not right. zip zero. All right. And we have to use our discernment and you know, um we just have to be wise as serpents and as innocent as doves. Amen. Uh, uh, Amen. Amen. But uh Leonardo, thank you for joining us. I don't know what that means. I don't know if you're speaking yeah, got like it. uns. Uh, if you could my friend, if Maybe you could clarify German. that a little, we uh, <laughs> never heard that. Uh, so uh, sounds uh, yeah. the Deutsch speak of the Deutsch. Got mins, got mins I don't know. Uh, I don't know. No, I play. If you could elaborate on that, my friend, that would, that would be <laughs> yeah. appreciated. You know, uh, forgive us, we 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 just don't know what that means. So if you could just uh, elaborate. Amen. On that, my Thanks, bye. We are not sinless, but we sin less because of our desire for Amen. him. Amen. Amen. That's a good way of putting it. That's a good way of putting it. If you're not trying to sin less, <laughs> I mean, that's, you know, I, I, right. Right, come on. Stop deceiving yourself, Careful, saying, oh, you know, I need to, you know, I can just keep sinning as much as I want. No. No. No, no. Right. Be careful it, this. It, What's that? You're knocking the oh, sorry. cord and it's like... My apologies. It's okay. I forgive you. See? That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> you know, it's about forgiveness, right? You know, forgiveness. We're not, we're not here to condemn the innocent. No. Right? I mean, no. All right? But... We do condemn. Well, I don't want to condemn anybody. Well, no, that's up we to the Lord to do. The but we also well, have to know, speak out against you evil and wrongdoing and wickedness. Is wrong. Yeah. You hate what the Lord hates. Okay. Yeah. We don't. We don't give people a pass. That's not what grace does. Right. Just you know, say hey, you know, that's fine. Don't worry about it. Okay. All right. Grace forgives. You don't hold it against them. All right. 
but you instruct them, you admonish them, you rebuke mm -hmm. them. What do you think in the New Testament, all the talk about rebuke? What do you think that's talking about? You think people are being rebuked for living godly? Right. No, they're being rebuked for <laughs> no. living ungodly. Right. So if you're living ungodly and you're rebuked, don't be offended. Humble yourself before the Lord. Well, again, repent of it. it comes Change down. your mind about it. Right. And repent. Okay? Be like, I right. don't want to be ungodly. That's not who I am anymore. Amen. Amen. No. Amen. And, and again, we have to are. remember God said, Jesus said, love God, love each other. Amen. You know, and so I think at the very minimum, at the very core, we could all be asking ourselves, how am I loving God and how am I loving others? And really reflect on that. I mean, I do that, you know, and, and, and just um, thinking about that and uh, help me to change. And thanks for love what you said. You said, my Mary asked me to have more correct speech. I love that she sought to see me better. I responded, given in love, responded in love. Yeah. Exactly. Amen. And that's how the Lord approaches us. You know, he's purchased us in love. Amen. It's it, There's he, no condemnation. He's, there, he's therefore, gentle. there's no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. He is gentle. He is. You know, he yeah. will tell you, you know, son, he gives daughter, us every opportunity. this is not who you are. Are. Amen. Why are you doing this? Amen. He's not okay with you not being who you now are. Stop believing people that say he's okay with that. All right. Maybe saved. All right. But he's not pleased. He's not right. happy. Right. All right. And uh, you know, people have or seem to have a problem with boasting in your love for the Lord. But the first commandment is love God. And I'm always going to boast in the fact that I love God. I love him. I love him first. And because I love him first, I'm able to love Scott better. I'm able to love my daughter better. I'm able to live better because I love him. It all flows down from that. Amen. Our love and for him filters down onto right. everybody else. Yeah. All right. Everybody else. All right. Because even the heathen love their own. Amen. And, you know, Jesus tells us what reward is there if you love those who love you back. Right. See, a reward comes for loving those who don't love you. See? All right? Because guess what? Jesus died for a bunch of people that didn't love him. Right. All right? That's he right. died. None of us loved Jesus before he died. That's right. All right? We didn't. We love him now because of what he did. He loved us first. So now we love him in return. Okay? But what we do now is because we are being transformed into, into his, image. his image. We're loving those who don't love us back, just like right. he loved those who didn't love us back. Amen. All right. yeah. That's what it's all about. Amen. And it's very hard at times. It is. It can be. But praise God for his grace. Grace is all about grace. All right? It's all about it. Uh, hi, Champ2647. He says, he says, you don't want to sin because you can't abide in life while you are abiding in death. You can't receive further inward revelations of Jesus Christ, partake of him, if you are partaking of death. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Uh, Look, if we're, if we're in active, willful sin, don't think that you're receiving anything from God. Don't think that you're, you know, receiving revelation all right understanding wisdom any of these things that's right all right because if when you're in active willful sin you may not recognize it as pride but that's exactly what it is my friend and if you're in pride you're receiving nothing from god amen all right he's resisting you he's right. turning his face away from you that's right okay and here you are pounding your chest you know saying boy you know Give me this revelation. Show me this. Give me this uh, understanding. But you're in absolute opposition to his will. He, you're receiving nothing from him. Mm -hmm. And when I say you, we include ourselves, ourselves. in that. It is Absolutely. us. I, I, don't like, I don't like saying you because it's we're all it's common. Us too. It, we all yeah. fall into the same thing. Absolutely. So it's us. It's us. We. All right. If we do that, then we receive nothing from him. And we may have believed unto salvation, all right? We may be saved, but guys, 
what are we going to have here? Maybe 80, 90, 100 years, if, if, if that. Right. 100 years here on this earth, the way things are right now. Mm -hmm. And after that comes eternity. Right. And eternity never ends. Right. All right. Right. So whatever condition we're in at that time is the condition we're going to be in for all time. Mm -hmm. Okay. None of us, are, uh, nowhere in the scriptures does it say, hey, just be okay with being saved. Right. Right. We are told in the scripture we're going to suffer loss. We have no idea what that means. Mm -hmm. That in of itself should cause us to fear God. All right. You want to suffer loss, eternal loss? What does that mean? No idea. You don't know what that means either. All right. But we do know one thing it means loss. Amen. And loss forever. Amen. So we need to really, really draw nigh to God. And, and, you know, He calls us His children, then let us be His children. Amen. Let us, let us emulate and want to be like our father right again and it all stems from our love of god i mean you know when we love god you know things change in us if we truly honestly love Does it? there's no denying god. that there's no denying that yeah if you love god you're changed end the story anybody who tells you that any different they're lying because you cannot love god you you cannot experience and truly believe and understand the love that he had for you and not be changed by that. Jesus said, Jesus said, I will manifest myself to them. He's not manifesting himself visually to people, right? It's not doing that. No. It's a spiritual thing, all right? What happens in the spiritual is not seen by physical eyes, but it is seen, it is seen by the heart, it is in the spirit. Okay? And when he manifests himself to you and he becomes as real as you are real, mm -hmm. all right? He becomes more real. And when that happens, that changes you. It does. Period. End of story. There's no getting around that. We stop living for yourself. We start living for him. Yeah. Because you realize, whoa, he is real. Yeah. yeah. He is real and he loved me and I believe him. I believe that he died for me. All right? I repent of who I believed he was, and I repent of who I believe I was. Amen. Okay? It's a dual repentance here that's happening here, all right? Because you can't believe in him as Savior unless you repent and believe that you are a sinner in need of that Savior. Amen. Okay? And he's not Savior if he's not Lord. All right? Amen. Amen, sweetie pie. Amen. All right. This is this is why you know a lot of people you know will come against us saying, "Oh, you're doing this. You're backloading works. And all this hogwash, nonsense." All right, nonsense. We believe in the simplicity of Christ. We believe in the simple milk of the gospel Amen. unto salvation. Amen. Okay, but we are here to admonish, to admonish, and to and I know that there's at least one person out there that loves when I say provoke one another to good works right okay that is what the scripture says okay provoke antagonize both those words mean, the same, thing. mean the same thing okay doesn't matter the means all right what matters is the outcome it means what it means provoke one another unto good works okay and if you have a problem with that you need to examine yourself and understand and, and, and ask yourself hmm why does that offend me Right. That's what the word says. Yet I'm offended. Why is that? I have the Holy Spirit in me. Why is this offending me? All right. God's not going to offend himself, guys. Okay. When the word comes and you hear it and you are resistant against it, you could bet on one thing and one thing only. That resistance is coming from you and not from God. All right. And you could either through your free will say, no, I'm going to choose. I want to believe this. I believe it. All right, even though I don't, I may not want to, I am believing it because God is true and he is good and I am believing him. Right. Or you could say, 
you know what? I don't agree with that. I don't like that. I'm going to find somebody who's, who, who puts it differently. Tells me otherwise. And yeah. yep, I'm, I want to be comfortable with how I feel. I want to hear. Basically what it comes down to Tickling is ears. I want to hear what I want to hear. Don't care about the truth. I'm going to decide what the truth is. Amen. That's not how it works. Right. That's not how it works. Okay? So <laughs> let us just love God, love one another, bear the fruit of the Spirit, submit to the Lord. Right. Okay? And his word. And his word. And his word. Oh, he is the word. He is the word. He is the word, guys. All right? The word became flesh. The word became flesh flesh yeah. and dwelt amongst us That's right. okay he became you know what's funny is there's i don't really like rap that much but there's a really good rap song you know it, it talks about jesus you know it, it's word became flesh and lived for 30 years it, it, i'm sorry it, yeah it was it's good i don't know <laughs> i i like that rap song i i'm not a rap Person, hey, you know, that, I, that, that, a, <laughs> I, can't, I can't think of the band right now, but there's a uh, Christian rap band that I really, really like. Um, I, I can't remember the name of it. Right I can't either. Nothing. But look, you know, rap anyway. has, you know, it, it, its place, I suppose. You know, God, God can work all things for the good, right? For his good and his purpose. So, you know, all we want to, to, to really make clear to everybody is because we've had a lot of accusations made against us that we backload works. Mm -hmm. and uh, But, I mean, no, and there's it's nothing, not backloading I mean, works, but we are told in the scripture, the scripture, not Anna and I aren't the ones who say this, the scripture tells us to examine ourselves, right. to test ourselves to see if we be in the faith. Right, and, and we'll tell you right now, you don't have to come to the Lord with anything. You don't have to have nope. any works. Nope. You don't have to good, good works. You have to get yourself together before you come to him. Come to him as you are. He will accept you. He will change you. He will renew you. He'll make you a new creation. He'll give you the Holy Spirit. You know, when you receive that, then you change. Amen. And then you, he predestined you for good Amen. works. Amen. You know, and works that Amen. he has planned for you to do. God's Amen. omniscient. He knows the beginning from the end, the end from the beginning. He knows what works you're going to do for him, and he sends you out to do them. And that that doesn't mean you have to do them before you get saved. It means after you're saved, he has things for you to do. After That's not you're saved loading. is the first and only time yeah. that you're able to love him back. Okay? That's being when you are saved and you were born again, the change that takes place within you is you for the first time in your life know him. Amen. And love him. Amen. And if you don't know him, you can't love him. Amen. And if you don't love him, you don't know him. Amen. All right? This is how simple this is. It's not a difficult equation. Okay? If you know him, then you love him. Amen. All right? If you don't love him, you don't know him. But you can. You can. It's not hopeless yet. All right? But people get so infuriated over this. They get so infuriated and they try and they'll use scripture and try to use scripture against scripture, okay, to prove what it is that they want to believe. Yet the scripture is so clear. It's so crystal clear. All right? So crystal clear. We love because he loved us first. Mm -hmm. We're not loving him. We're not understanding and we don't know him all right we don't know because if you don't love him then it's okay to continue with whatever sin or whatever you're doing whatever kind of wickedness you're doing because you don't care how it makes right? him feel exactly what he thinks and about now him. you're relying strictly on this legalistic point of view right where it's like oh no but it says anybody who believes so i believe in him you know well, again but you know like, i always like to compare it to yeah. like the pharisaical legalists are like exactly. the prosecuting attorney and the grace type people that are like are looking for loopholes in the law you know are like the defense attorney and yeah. and neither one of them are right where we're in the middle exactly. you know and we need to trust in the lord jesus That's to be exactly our advocate it. and trust so in the lord jesus to be our judge and you're not just trusting yeah. in him so you can get out of uh you know uh, get out of jail for free card right all right that's wickedness in of itself don't it you is. get that don't you see this all right, you know, oh, well, I'm going to believe just so I can, you know, not go to hell. Right. And that's it. Okay. 
No, that's not genuine belief. All right, the Apostle Paul said, "I pray, you know, I, I fear that ye have believed in vain. in vain. You need to understand and and deal with that scripture." Okay, we believe that it is as easy as believing, but this belief that we are talking about is not just some intellectual consent or assenting to some facts or agreeing about. All right, look at it. Dig into the into the scripture. See what this word belief, what this word faith really means. It means a dependence. It means a utter trust upon. Okay, you cannot trust upon somebody this way unless you absolutely love them. Amen. Okay, you love them. You know that they are going to keep their word no matter what. Amen. All right, and if that doesn't cause you to love them, then that is something that you also need to really hone in on. And, 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 and ask yourself, but again, it's not too late. If that's where you're at, mm -hmm. all right? People are not understanding that what we are trying to reach out to people here is first of all, for edification to the believer, to those who have believed unto salvation, but also to those who have not heard the gospel whatsoever yet, Amen. but also to those who have listened to false teaching, right. all right? And they know they're not bearing any fruit of the spirit, right. but they're constantly reinforced with this, you know, being told, ah, you don't have to worry about that. You don't need any evidence of it, okay? You don't need any evidence of it, but the scripture is clear. He tells us, if you love me, you will keep my commandments. Amen. And we're not talking he about does. commandments, so the, uh, the, the, ten, the, the law of Moses. Right. He said, love God, love Amen. your neighbor. Amen. That's it. These That's two it. things. Out of all these two commandments are hang the law and the prophets, right? Mm -hmm. So if you're do, if loving God and you're loving your neighbor, then you will keep all the other commandments because you love God. See, it all stems from love, all right? Love is the fulfillment of the what? Law. law. Okay? It's clear in the scripture. You just need to have an ear to hear. You need eyes to see, okay? And guys... <laughs> You know, there's so many people out there. They, they 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 think that we're you know they make us they make us the enemy, all right? Or I think that we're you know adding to the gospel or anything. This is the gospel, okay? We're just reading what scripture says to truly believe, to truly truly believe upon the Lord Jesus Christ, okay? The gospel, the Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of God. You're believing upon Him, not just so that you know you can not go to hell. Okay, all right. You believe in because you now know him. You know him. Amen. And you cannot know him and not love him. And if you don't love him, you don't know him. Amen. And that is why he is going to say, Depart from me, I never knew you. Amen. Because Amen, he knows baby. everybody. Yep. But what he wants is for us to know him. And if we don't know him, he's going to say, I never knew you. Amen. Even though he knows all things. Amen. All right. So Amen. this is why we admonish. This is why we we do what we do, all right? Because the Lord has put it upon us to do to do this ministry now, and we are out here, and we are you know we're just appealing. We're, we're trying to reach out to as many people as we possibly can, whether it be seven people or you know a hundred people. It doesn't matter if there's just one person, one, okay, one soul. Wall of heaven rejoices when one soul comes to repentance, when one sinner comes to repentance. Right. All about love. Amen, guys. Well, we really love you guys. We really appreciate being here. Yeah. Um, yeah. You know, um, we do this because we love the Lord. Um, you know, again, if we just feel like if we just reach one person, that's right. then, then that's all that matters. And that's why we do this, you know, and... Uh, we really appreciate you guys joining us on third. Uh, find the time to keep doing those. Uh oh. Um, oh, there's back. And by the way, yeah, you know, I mean, Anna, Anna really does most of uh, all, literally all the PowerPoint the stuff, stuff here. The PowerPoint stuff. And uh, praise God, I mean, she does such a phenomenal job. And, uh, you know, just want to, uh, you know, praise the Lord because Amen. it's, it's, Getting the visual along with with everything else is very important, you know. And Anna does a phenomenal job. With yeah, them, so. 
you know, we're just trying to do the best that we can for you guys. And, you know, we're not perfect. And if we fall short, we hope you can forgive us. And, but we really do love you guys. We want to bring you the truth of the scripture. We want to love you. We want to edify you. And hopefully we're doing a good job at that. You know, that is our heart's desire. Um, it's Again, we ask nothing from you. We're not um, asking anything of you other than to listen and hear what we have to say. So, um, Amen. And we make it a point to just say what the scripture says. All right. What we say means nothing. What the scripture says means everything. Yes. Okay. It means everything. And this is also why we always admonish and encourage people to get into scripture for yes. themselves. But don't get into the scripture wanting it to say what you want it to say. Because if you go into the scripture wanting it to say what you want it to say, it's going to say that to you. All right. You need to go into the scripture and let God speak and let him reveal himself and his word to you and the truth to you, what is the actual word, who he truly is, what the truth truly is, and receive him. Amen. Receive him. Amen. Okay? And that is what we, we, we earnestly, truly pray for, for everybody, for, for every single you know human being that, that may come across we do. this. You know? We do. So... And, uh, you know, champ, you know, we just want to, uh, you know, uh, thank you for say joining God bless us you, tonight. you know, and thank you that you, you know, we, that you joined us. Yeah. And, um, you know, uh, I just want to see uh, the error of the other ditch you have blind to your own. If somebody is in the truth, speaks truth to you, you will be confused. You will hear the error of the other side. That is why people accuse you of backloading war and works. Yeah. You know, I mean, that, that, this is, the, the, you know, this is what's, uh, you know, occurring. People, want to just uh, accuse this because, you know, there's a lot of hesitation amongst us, our flesh, all right? The flesh is weak, all right? We all fall into uh, into ditches. And God, have mercy on me. He knows that um, I struggle with my flesh as much as any of you out there, all right? We all do. Yeah. But that's we part of being did. humble before the Lord, you see. You're humble before the Lord, and you go to him, and you tell him, Lord, I'm struggling here. I fail. I fail. I fail. I need help. Mm -hmm. All right? That is going to the throne of grace in time of need to get the help that we need. Amen. All right? And his grace is sufficient. Amen. You know? Praise God. If you go to God struggling with the sin, and you truly, truly go to him, say, Lord, cleanse me of this, deliver me from this, whatever, you know. You honestly think he's not faithful to take that he away? He is. You it says he's faithful. The come? scripture says of he's course. faithful. Of course. This is where believing comes into play. We're not just believing in Jesus. We're believing on Jesus. Amen. All right? We're not just believing in what he has done. We are believing in and what he, he is, is doing. And who he is. And who he is. Yeah. Okay? See, that is where it is. And some people just want to believe in what he's done, and they're fine with that, and that's all they want to know about him. Mm -hmm. Okay? All right? But we are not called to be those people. No. Right? And I'm not even saying that those people aren't saved. Okay? But again, we're not called to just be saved. We're called to be made in the image of the Lord Jesus Christ, Amen. to be sons and daughters of the Most High God, just as Jesus Christ himself is the only begotten Son. Amen. All right? Praise God. We are called to a much, much higher calling, and it is time that we start living for him. Okay? Amen. He died for us. The least we could do is live for him. Amen. Okay? All right. Amen. We try to do that every day. Amen. Sometimes we fall short, but we do it yeah. uh, out of our love and affection and genuine uh, um uh, desire to please the Lord, yeah. even when we know that we can't, we try. Amen. Yeah. Amen. So uh, we love you guys. It's uh, about seven thirty now. Uh, we wanted to just share one more thing with you uh, before we go. We want to uh, just let you know that uh, again, if you need a Bible, yeah, you can guys, contact or us. If you know somebody else who needs a Bible, Amen. you know, whatever. Within the guys. United States, we can't be Within, sending stuff yeah. overseas. Yeah, you know, eventually maybe we will. Maybe we can. Opens, uh, opens a dual way, but right now it needs to be within the continental United States. What about like yes. Hawaii or Puerto Rico? Yeah, we could probably do that. Uh, we could probably, probably do, do that. that. We could so, probably do that. But, you know, within uh, within the United States is where it must uh, remain right now. But um, right. 
And if you haven't already, be sure to connect with us on Facebook under Pure Word Ministries. And we also have a web page at www.purewordministries.com. Yeah. We have a blog there. We haven't been super awesome about uh, updating it regularly because we've been super just busy. Yeah. Just but busy. It, but again, we're going to try. You know, we're going to yeah. really uh, start, uh, you know, trying to devote more time, um, you know, uh, again, with content, with uh, the website, with the blog, yeah. with all these things. So you know, God willing, God willing, you know, if it, God wills the 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 fact that we have extra time to do Amen. these things, then you and know, he'll he'll make he'll give us the extra he will. time. He will, he will, you know, he will, because he is good and he is faithful, right? Amen. All right, Amen. and uh, and so just, having said that, uh, we're gonna. Yeah. Time run off dinner. here. We're going to have dinner. Yeah, some time for some pizza, right? Yeah, we're gonna I mean, I'm pizza from New York, so I love pizza. You know, even if it's frozen. Yeah, we just got some frozen pizzas tonight. We're, I, frozen I, pizza's I wasn't fine. Feeling like cooking. We had enchiladas the other night, though. They were oh, pretty good. Oh, man, the enchiladas. Yeah. Guys, <laughs> this one right here, all right, is her cooking is just phenomenal. And, and I, I, you know, I, I have no Hispanic heritage, but I can make some enchiladas. I have yeah. no Hispa Hispanic heritage either, but I love eating enchiladas as much as any Mexican. <laughs> I'll tell you that. <laughs> That's funny. You know, um, but uh, again, we love you guys. We thank you all for joining us. We're going to be here again next Thursday if you want to yeah. join us again. Yeah. Uh, again, we're going to be steadily trying to work on uh, you know adding more content. You know, it's really going to all be dependent on how things go with the next few months. Right. But you know, God willing. Uh, you know, we will um, be able to uh, to do more. Amen. And just if you can be a prayer for us, Christ and uh, trust in the Lord. So, you know, again, we're super busy. We're 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 running around here like chickens with their heads cut off. But Amen. but so, by God's grace, we're we're making it. And so Amen. that's we just have to praise Him for that. And uh, this live stream felt great. Too. It did. You know, it really did. Uh, I mean, really, we we really have been under. A lot. Yeah. Uh, that, that there's been a lot of stuff coming against us, and uh, just I'm sure as it is with many of you. And yeah. We pray for you. We ask you to please pray for us. We need to pray for one another earnestly. Yes. All right. The earnest prayers. The righteous faileth much, and we believe that 100. percent So we really thank you guys for joining us tonight. Uh, we will definitely be back on Thursday. We may come out with either a video or possibly over the weekend live or live stream, yeah. maybe even this weekend. So, you know, if you guys are subscribed, you know, you definitely get the notification. Uh, we also on Facebook, we also post and, and, and let uh, let everybody know, uh, you know, what will be coming down the pipe. So yeah. uh, on Facebook even. So, yep. you know, and again, guys, you know, fellowship, it's all about fellowship, right? You know, uh, reach out to us. Uh, we're going to check the email, check the Facebook, yeah. check the website. Absolutely. And, uh, you know, we just... Uh, Want you all to be good and you know to just praise god and get into his word and read your bible read your bible read your bible, read your bible get into that word and uh love one another and love god above all things you know? amen that's amen it. amen that's it. That's it. amen having said that i hope you have a wonderful thursday night amen. and uh happy june and 14th yeah we're kind of it's the middle of june it's cloudy here and rainy and cold so we're kind of bummed out but we're looking forward to some uh nice weather next we're, week we're, so. we're supposed to get like uh 90. people people were telling me this yeah people were telling me today this weekend we're going to be up in the 90s yeah i'm kind of looking forward to that <laughs> i'm really looking and forward i'm to fickle it. you know I, I i'm convicted because i'm like it's cold i want the sun to come out the sun comes out i'm like it's too hot i'm sure cool off nah, you know me, so i'm I, like i want to be on the backyard <laughs> i want to soak up some sun rays you know, yeah. I, I, I'm gonna feel I'm gonna feel that 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 hot weather, just for a day or two. And then I'll be done. With it. Yeah. But just for a day or two would be really nice. It so, would be really nice. Really looking forward. To we that. can use some color too, especially when you have kind of pale. Yeah. But I mean, anyway, you, you can see the whiteness <laughs> here in our faces. So we need some color. Northwest. Northwest. Yeah. I'm from the east. Uh, northeast. Yeah. Completely different. Yeah, it know? is different. So, yeah, but, but we love you guys. Yeah. God bless you. Yeah. And may the Lord keep you and <laughs> give you joy and Amen. peace. And uh, we look forward to seeing you again next Thursday, if not sooner. And remember, 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 and let everybody know that you come into contact with that Jesus said, Come unto me, all ye who are weary and heavy burdened, and I will give you peace. Amen. Okay. Let the world know. Yeah. Let them know.
Okay. We love you guys. God bless Thank you, you for guys. joining us. God bless you and peace be with you all in Christ Jesus. Goodbye. God bless. Bye. If you enjoyed this content, please be sure to check out more Bible studies in the Bible study playlist. And be sure to connect with us on Facebook under Pure Word Ministries. And be sure to like and subscribe.